Hey y'all, this is Amanda with She's a Mad Gardener and today I'm working on part three of the video series where I am redoing a portion of my garden. If you remember in part one, I went through and I ripped everything out and I showed you what my mistakes are and what the issues and problems were. And then in part two, I went back and added in more drip lines. And now in part three, I am going to be planting all the seedlings I'm growing. As a reminder, this particular area, I don't know what the finished product is going to be like maybe in next spring, but for the time being, instead of having a bare space, I'm going to fill it with cut flowers. Um, they're all annuals, so they'll die back and I'll rip them out at the end of the season. And then I'll have a fresh bed to start with in the spring. As a reminder, make sure you hit that notification bell and hit that subscribe button and make sure you give me a thumbs up. Every time you interact with my video, it helps my YouTube channel grow. Also, make sure you check me out on Instagram and TikTok. Okay, here's the area. We had rain come through yesterday, which is literally just shocking um, <laughs> as we haven't had it in over a month. Um, so I've got, I need to prop up these straw flowers over here. We had some good winds and stuff. So what I'm gonna be doing today is I'm going to be going and applying um, compost, a layer of compost over this whole area. And then I'm gonna back um, go back over it with some light mulching. Um, and then I'm going to be filling all this in. I, I don't, I guess I'm going to sink the, um, the drip lines. I guess I'll let them go under. I'm not sure yet. We'll have to see, but you can see all the small quarter inch drip lines are what I just added. And then over here are all the seedlings that I've been growing. Started these all from seeds out, um, inside and they have been inside, uh, outside for a couple of days. So, um, I will show you what kinds they are and throw up a pic. These are munchkins. These are pretty. These are a fun sunflower. I enjoyed them this year. These over here are strawberry lemon and chocolate cherry sunflowers. So these are a mix of two. These are branching. I have bouquet dill and black, uh, or wheat black tip. And then over here is a mix of Benares Giants, Brazinias. And then finally over here, oh, what do I got in here? Oh, there's a frog. <laughs> Look at that frog in there. I almost reached out and just grabbed it. Okay, I'm gonna have to give him a minute to get out of there. But um, in there, I've got two types of Celosia. Okay, let's get started.
Okay, got everything planted over here, zinnias. The whole center portion is celochia, and this other side over here is sunflowers. And let me walk you this way. <clears throat> I'm gonna wait on the dill. I just don't think it's big enough, but over here I put in the black tip wheat. And then walking this way, I put in all the munchkin sunflowers right here. Check out this dahlia. It's called Mother's Choice. It's looking good. And then I still had a few more zinnias. So this isn't typically where I put something that's cut flower, but I pulled up a big thing of uh, autumn sage salvia. So there's a big hole here. So I thought, what the heck? So I filled that in with zinnias. Okay. I, I always seem so tired at the end of my videos, y'all. I promise I'm not that out of, out of shape. The humidity is insane um, right here. I'm just dripping. I was having a hard time when I was looking down and the, the drips of sweat were collecting on my glasses. <laughs> okay, so I got all of those planted. Um, I think it's a little over 250 seedlings <clears throat> out, which is exciting. But the, I started all those, all of those in my house. Some of y'all are asking, why didn't you just plant them directly in the ground? Well, in mid-August in Texas, it's super hot. Um, I'd have to be working real hard to keep those seeds moist enough to ger germinate. So I started everything inside, let them got, get to a good size and then brought them out because also at this time of year is when we have a lot of bug issues. And so a lot of insects, a lot of pests. And so if you have sweet little seedlings, they are gonna just eat them, to eat them up. And so I wanted the seedlings to get a little bit stronger before I brought them out. I will be watering them at least once a day and checking on them. And I mean hand watering them once a day. I have drip lines set up on all these, but I'll be coming out to check on them and make sure they're looking good um, because several of them are in the west side sun. So I'll look forward to updating you guys on this. As always, she's a mad gardener or a decorator or anything else that she wants to be. Thanks, y'all.